It's that time of year where we're getting the end of the winter swells and the water's murky and there's white sea bass cruising the shores. Here I'm heading in, it is pretty murky. And as you can see under the kelp, it's dark and gloomy, but you're always looking out to see a dark shape swim along uh, so that you can shoot a big white sea bass. Here I was actually looking for a sargo, but I found a rubber lip and nailed her perfectly and the reason I say her is while we can be selective one of the hardest things for me is when you do shoot a fish and it turns out to be a mother in this case she was actually just about to start giving live birth and you can see right here I turn her over and sure enough there's actually fish being born as uh, probably a little bit of the stress, but was able to get all the fish out. They all swam away and hopefully they'll go on to live long lives. Right after I shot this opali, the GoPro actually started digitalizing because the white sea bass, somewhere out in this gloom, there were some sea bass around and they were croaking so loud that you could just feel it inside your body and it actually digitalized the sound so I couldn't even have, there's no sound here and it was just nuts. About a couple minutes later, perfect sound, we are back, but it was absolutely amazing somewhere around there where some really big sea bass. Check it out right below me in this, it, here's a couple sheep head, a little bit smaller than I'd go after, so I let them go. Looking for one of the big bulls to be down here, the big bulbous head. Check this out. Recently a guy came out with a huge striped sea bass and I was like, there's no way, there's no stripers out there. And sure enough, as I'm diving, just a little guy goes right by me. <laughs> All right, 
a bad haul for this morning. Just uh, shot some fish. Got some opalai, some calico, and a sargo. That's a big mama in the middle there. Now we're gonna clean them up and probably gonna dry edge a couple of the opalize for my sushi. Oh yeah. And some calico and sargo for tonight's dinner. Cheers. I've got the three opalai dry aging right now down in my fridge. And now I'm going to start cutting up my calico bass and my sargo and have some fish wraps, fish tacos for dinner. Here you go, nice little pile of calico bass beautiful fillets from my star that I've got. Everybody eats. There you go. There you go. Going with the lemon pepper from Trader Joe's today. All over it. And we're gonna fry these up. So I get why people are a little squeamish about dry aged fish, but damn, look at how good these fillets look. Look at that, just beautiful oblique fillets. I'm gonna wrap them up tight so I can make some sushi out of them. I think I'm gonna freeze them a little bit, but uh, they are ready to go. I could eat them right now if I wanted to, but I already got them. Well, I didn't get any white sea bass today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Came with me, checked it out. Pretty cool underwater. If you like these videos, definitely click like, tap or subscribe to check out even more. Cheers.